GBI six and five to MCCP. Eight? We're going to be starting count. at all counts now. Lounge top, bunch of herbs, bunch of flowers. Mommy's gonna turn off your light, give you a little thing of food. You be good boy till mommy comes back, okay? Here you go. I'm gonna put my plant out in the dining room because it needs to get watered. There's a drink for you while I'm gone. Make sure my sham is tied back or I don't get a charge so the staff can look in at you when they come by. Love you. Okay, you take care of the, the house for mommy. Jeez, people are gonna think I'm nuts. Oh, you know, I don't have my kids. I don't have my partner. That's what I have to do to make myself normal. Okay, we're gonna go out. See you when I get back. Have a good time. Bye. My sunglasses. Wedding band. My wedding band. Birdstone. Birdstone. Okay. Tank top underneath. Lounge. Oh, muscle, muscle shirt. shirt. Muscle shirt. 09, 24. Mm -hmm. Here's my keys. I, uh, I come to Canada. I'm very happy because no fight, you know. No, uh, you know, live. Uh, I'm very happy. But here, very different. I long, I miss my home, you know, my mom. So sad because myself, no family, no nothing. All oh, my life, never trouble, never nothing in Vietnam. I come here. Church people don't know what to do. That's why I go down for, for people. I hope Jen never again, never. This last my life for, for hope people, listen people, so. Okay, this is my room on the left, number nine. It's a double room, but I'm the only one who occupies it. As you see my Bible over there, I read my Bible a lot. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, and sometimes during the day if I'm not that busy. I have to show you what I have in here because this, I call it the red bag because it have all my certificates from GVI. I have over 10 certificates, choices, um, suicide awareness, BOSAP 1, and boundaries, and personality tree. All these I accomplish and I have 
a positive and I'm well focused right now in life. control of our knives. They go so far from that is it. This is supposed to be a place where women can rehabilitate themselves and still have some semblance of a normal life. We got staff that doesn't uh, go along with that. Could be our PWs. We don't know. So who do we trust in here? My, my case management team has been uh, changed, and I've got two males, one for PW and one for team leader. I don't relate well to males because I've been severely abused. My throat's been slashed. I've been shot at. I've been beat. I don't have any, hardly any teeth left because of it, and I've put in to have it changed. Whether I, it can happen or not, I don't know, but that's half your battle. It's having a PW and a team leader that you can have a good rapport with. And right now, I don't have that. From her. Hi, Pauline. Hi. Oh, not bad. My major court is on Friday. This is the one that they said I was trying to escape when I went on my ETA. She said you'd have to come and see if you're taking the case, and then they'll pay you. That's I went. I called them up, and that's what they said. They said you'll get paid. Yeah, but I called legal aid and they said, you know, you will get paid. Okay. I was going on an ETA by my family. And um, when I came over, they told me I was going to... They charged me for escaping, and I told them that I wasn't going to escape. So they wrote up some papers for me and told me that I have to go to segregation, and I was there for eight days. I'm not uh, professional, but it doesn't sound right. You know, they should let me try to escape first and then charge me, so. First uh, week, uh, I'm sick. I uh, ring pill. But uh, other, other women uh, in my house, they think I say, OK, I got a headache. So I uh, give me sleep pill. I ring. I fall down. I'm sick. I scare <laughs> They put me in home. They say the text uh, that I cry, cry, nurse come. Ask me, why put me in here? She say, oh, I see. She say, oh, I have party and, 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 and drink and, and smoke part. I say, oh, my life, I know smoke. Set. Learn. <laughs> I learned. Never touch no more people, keep people hope. Can't believe this. Still life lucky. You know? The bone I can walk, I can't believe that never get like that. Well, it was a great visit. I had a great time with my family. And uh, 
you know, I just preparing myself now for the next time they come and um, it's going to be great. I got to stop beating up on myself because there's nothing I can do to change my circumstance. Just have to keep rising above and keep embracing every challenge that's given me and that's how I go through my time. Well, I just hate looking out there and seeing all that razor wire when I'm a minimum security. And if I was a man, they wouldn't even have a fence. There would be no fence around me. Look at that. Do you see that out there? Come on, let me show you. I don't think it's right, that's all. I expect this in maximum. I expect this in max. I should give them a phone call. Yes? Oh, no, I'm not calling about that. I'm calling to see who's the VNC officer and are they coming to get me out? Hi, Tia. Hey. How are you, Clover? Good. How was your visit? It was just excellent. I had such a great time, Clover. Oh, I'm going to do a quick check here. With you me, go Tia. ahead. Just make sure everything's all cleaned up. Yep, I cleaned everything up. Gonna... Don't be smudging all my stuff up there. There's valuable stuff in here. Put that bag on the top. Oh, the uh, potato peeler is gone. From the both PFEs. They've been gone for three months. Yeah, they gotta secure the knives, heaven forbid. Okay, let's go. Let's make the journey. Other day, ring, uh, you know, use. I have uh, use, and then I make can and fish. We take go build another day. A tree people ring. They told me ring smooth part something. That's the kind I make you. I ring all the time. I know ring alcohol. See, Sam, I make use. You know, I put in fish. Uh, I don't know when the court go caught. But I, I, I laugh. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, what I say, you know. It's you, string God, just for you. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Is Kim Tate there? Okay, would you give her a message for me? Would you tell her it's TA? And would you tell her that uh, I went to the PFE on... Um, I went to the private family visiting unit on the 23rd. Okay, um, Grand Valley Institution uh, has had a smoke-sensitive house ever since I came here. Uh, now they've made a decision because they have problems placing people. And I, I've got back to my unit and they've placed smokers in, in the unit and they've had, no, they, people that smoke. I've had grievances in here for the past two years with still no response from the warden's level. So grievances don't go out of the institution. Because of that reason, I want her to phone the Minister of Health. She's an advocate for, for federal sentence women. This is what I'm asking her to do. I want her to phone the Minister of Health, and I want the Minister of Health to phone the CSC and ask the CSC what their policy is on, on the non-smoking uh, 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 institution that they're supposed to be running. Okay, well, this is my um, allergy to smoke has been all do documented through health care. And uh, I think in this instance that the health minister and the uh, Commissioner of Corrections needs to sit down and find out what their what exactly their policies on non-smoking are. Why should I be subjected to their goddamn bad decision-making policies? I'm pissed. Now, unless your office is not going to do anything about it, I'll call my MP. Because they have this documented, you should be calling health care. 
Okay, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. And sorry for getting a little hot there, but like, you know, I just, you know, like, why just bring the death penalty back and start killing people, why don't they? I mean, that's the better answer. It's more humane, isn't it? Okay, you too. Bye. I'm fighting for my rights. I'm not a fucking mouse. I'm not laying down for nobody. And, and, and shivering in fear. I never said you would. Yeah, well, uh, they're making all kinds of decisions that provoke people, that make people upset. Half the time, I can't even get into this building because of people smoking. But I've never once went and, and made any problems with it. But you know what? I'm sick of it. You know what? Because I'm entitled to have a place where I feel safe. You're absolutely right. And that's not but, happening for me here. But let's do look at what you were doing as your action, though. You purposely were pushing buttons on people who smoke, right? Because you when? were angry when you came out of the health unit. Oh, no, I was not. That's Did bullshit. Did you make a comment? That I have a right to a non-smoking environment. I have a right to a non-smoking environment. So yes, I do. Tell me why, if your issue is with management. Brenda and I were still talking. Okay. So you're saying the comments you made when you came out of the I was still healthcare. talking to Brenda until she opened up her gate. And then I got pissed because she brought my family and said right. something about my family. Which everyone knows is a button and should never be done when you're here. She had no call to say what she said. And I took offense to it and I had every right to. And if you fucking think that I'm going to let those you're assholes... You're no, it's up. not. No, it's not. You know what it is? It's all the program you have here that don't do nothing to change these people's behavior but make them as ignorant as when they came in to make co the communities at large more dangerous because you're letting these fucking people back out on the street. They keep coming back like, I can't Bring handle it. Down. Bring yourself down. She has been spoken to. Yeah. She knows to leave, to drop this. She knows she was wrong. I okay. called her on, on using the family as, and that's what she did. Okay. She, she used your family. Okay. And everyone Thanks. knows if you use family, it's going to cause problem. Yeah. So she was called on that. Well, thank you very I will much. Be putting I, your I appreciate in. it. I appreciate it. You fight hard for everything you want and need. But you know but what? But I know when now. I, you I know now. Here, you were in a yeah, good I'm mood. So get back to the space. Go enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Nobody's fucking talking about my family or saying anything about my family. They don't know nothing about my family because I don't tell them nothing about my family. Excuse me. Hey, Wendy. It started on a Sunday, and uh, I was cooking dinner for two girls and myself. And the other girl in the house didn't like that. So consequently, there was a lot of friction. Two guards came over, locked me inside my room, and come by every 15 minutes and asked me if I'd like to go to the bathroom. Do you know how demeaning that is to a woman my age? Consequently, they decided they wanted to put me on uh, camera. They had inmate committee come over. They asked me if I would go to, to uh, come over to health care. I said no. They had called out the SWAT team, the whole bit, and I said finally that I would go. 
over to the main building. So I come over and went to psych. I was in there for the best part of three days and then they released me. I just basically had three days to think and to sleep. And I did a lot of thinking. How best I could better myself and helping myself to get out of here without having to wait, you know, till my warrant expiry date. Which is a long ways down the road. <laughs> I don't want to wait that long. Conversation I had with Karina, okay? So here's the first thing I'm gonna tell you, okay? Remember you got that um, pink piece of paper? Yeah. And they said that you were drinking some brew with the girls? Yeah. Okay, I know, Melissa. Well, okay, whether you did or didn't, what happened was is, Car is Karina sort of stopped the paperwork. Yeah. Right? She slowed down the paperwork. Yeah. Right? And that was your complaint last time, is that she's not doing the paperwork so you can get in front of the parole board. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to send her a fax this week, Kim. Look at me for a second. I'm, I'm going to send her a fax, I'm gonna, and I'm going to say, I talked to you this week, and I understand that you have completed the paperwork, and that everything's going to be sent, so Kim fam will have her hearing in January. This month, 21st, 22nd, parole board, OK? She should. I, done. It, it, it's not done, right? This way. I know, but I know, but it's not done. Yeah, you see, so it's nothing. Man, I fought two but, more months, listen, you know, that's no right. Kim, there's nothing we can do about it. We've already missed November, right? So now we're working for January. So let's not get her mad. You know what? There's a lot of other girls in here who are, aren't going to get out for a long time, right? No. There's a lot of girls doing life in here, right? Yeah. They're going to be here for a long time, right? You're not going to be. It's not the end of the world. You're lucky that way. You're going to be one of the people who's going to walk out of here in a little while. Yeah, lucky. lucky. No, you are lucky. You're going to walk out of here in a little while. Yeah, lucky. No, do wrong. Sit down. Jail long time. Uh, well, I, down, uh, yeah, too much, I, eh? I don't want to talk. Listen, I'm not going to talk about whether you should no, be in so, here or not. Yeah. Right? I know ring sick. I know smoke too, eh? I, I sick, I go husband, come back, put me in hole now, uh, make paper, stop, that's no, no right. Kim. She can't do like that. Yeah, but she did. What, do so, you think they can hold me forever? No, 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 not forever, January. No. But can do sick for a man, eh? You know, I feel, eh? I'm sick, man. Well, I, I am upset, I told you. I sit down all the time, jail, eh? you know? It's only two more months. How long you been in here now? How long you been in jail? Eight, nine months something already. That, nine months already. That's right. They sent in only six months, and I say now I say over nine months already. I know. Now I have to wait two more months, year more. You know, you see that's no. Have <laughs> some talk some, you know. It's only two months. Two months already, now two months, that's four months for sit down jail for her. I want the two, you know. You want I the want truth? everything, everything too, yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. Pretty dead out on the strip today. Gotta have a pass to get going to this main building. Cause they got three Max women down there. And when they bring them out in handcuffs and shackles with two paid escort guards, everybody got to run out of the building because, you know, that's how dangerous the guards are. Ah, oh, I have no request to put in today. 
I'll ask if they got my request at health care, though. Hi. I was wondering if he's got my requests. I'm getting worse, and my glands are starting to swell out really badly. I need some eye drops, and I need something for... I, I put them in every day. Thanks. Still can't get any medical treatment since they made my house a smoking house and I'm suffering from the effects of it. They don't want to see me because I'll have to log my condition. The quests don't work. Put in one every day. See how, how long they'll keep you waiting before they send the staff to take me away. <clears throat> Maybe they're going to see me. I'm really having a hard time. Uh, hard my, time. my necks are all from secondhand smoke in my house. I can't live with smokers. Yeah, okay. I'm getting worse. I, I need more eye drops. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, let's take the long way home today, I suppose. This is the new Max unit. This little gray area here is a segregation yard. It has no natural light. This is the orientation house where people come in from the provincial. Uh, they get to stay there for a week or so to have orientation. They think they've died and gone to heaven. That's where we committed suicide. Abused woman, tragic story. You know, this is not all it's cracked up to be. It's nice having to be able to come outside, but I'm fucking bored stiff. I'm bored because there's no programming. There's nothing here except when are they going to come and search my house next? I wonder if my family is going to make it through the ion scanner and the drug dog and the fucking detect metal detectors and this and that. And the people out there that are fucking belly aching about us women having this little thing. Should, you should be ashamed of yourselves, all right? You should be ashamed of yourselves, you know? We're women that have had nothing in our lives, just struggling with things. I think society deserves everything they get from people in prison. You put people in prison, put them in there for fucking 10, 15, 20 years, you have these fucking spawns of Satan antagonizing people taking every bit of goodness out of them and then you put them back out on the street and you expect that they're gonna, you know, be okay? Fucking assholes. I asked my PWL if he knows I'm going to major court um, on the 15th. He said he didn't know. And I said, um, Oh, so I'm just one man against the world. I'm going into major court. They can do anything they want because you all have the upper hand. I'm trying to get my lawyer. She told the secretary told me that she's on the jurist jury list and she's not sure she can come in on the 15th. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I do not want you to come to look at my case because you guys maybe give me a life sentence and think I was going to escape. I really want to go home to my family. Because I don't deserve all this. <laughs> I said, but I thought you were supporting me. I said, as my P double, I've known you 30 months. I never give you, I disrespect you. And he said, Pearl, if I should support you, they would think I have 15 eggs. That was the exact thing he said to me. 15 years might mean he's crazy. One, I remember one of the, 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 the guards said that um, we, we are not humans. And she's the only one I respect because at least she's honest. She's because everybody always say, but come to think that they all think it in their heart, but they don't say it. But this one was brave enough to say, we're prisoners, we're not humans. That's how cruel and wicked they are in here. And I did not know I hear it, and I didn't believe it because I didn't see it. I know that the seat, no, I, be, I have to believe it. Oh, 
Okay, I need to talk to you um, something about Karina. Yesterday, uh, Karina phoned me come over in, in chapel. She asked me who uh, make uh, who write records complain. She say, I know you know can write, but I want to know who. I know so. What's wrong? She called me liar, Joey. She said, because I smoke rock. You smoke rock? <laughs> you don't smoke. You don't even do drugs. But she can't talk me like that. No. Without no um, facts, they can't accuse you of doing anything. Because you provided your analysis, and you and your your analysis was clean, so she has no right to, you know, saying that you're a liar. If you don't want um, a certain guard, PW, you have a right to ask for another PW that you can have a better communication with and you need answers. This is your life, irregardless if you're an inmate or not, you're still a human being, you know, and you do have rights. And bad luck happen to a um, PW like that. I can't believe that. Pauline, this is Pearl. Guess what? They dropped the charges for the escape. Yes, I don't have to go to court on Friday, November the 5th anymore. So I was so happy. But guess what? I, I know. <laughs> yep, they said they checked it out and they didn't think that I was really going to escape. But they, yes, so. That's one big weight off my shoulder. All right, and I'll call you back and tell you the date of my parole board hearing. Okay, all right. Bye-bye, Pauline. Bye-bye. Yeah, you pass. Guess what? Hey. happy my charge is dropped from the escape. Oh, what a they bunch don't. of crap. This institution so doesn't have anything to give their frontline <laughs> staff to do except to harass the women. That's a sad fucking day for corrections when they gotta invent stuff in order to do the job. So but it gave them a lot of paperwork to do, eh? For yeah. a lot of months. So, here. So what I a waste of the taxpayers' mm -hmm. money, eh? Jesus. Anyway, I gotta get going. Yeah. I gotta okay. go and make dinner. See you later. Yeah, so that's my good news for the day. Okay. All right. No court. <laughs> no court. They threw it out. No court, nothing. The oh. warden no the warden said no. Can't proceed with it. Too many mixed uh, you know, Name. uh mixed stuff in there. That's not good, eh? That they screwed up on. What now? What go on? Nothing. They said they dropped all of my charges. Yeah. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> okay, I'll see you after. Okay. Okay, my friend. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I'm happy. No court. No court. They chose a rap. Three, no court. They rap. What did throw rabbits? Oh my god. My god. Oh. Here's them back and we'll go over them. Some of you guys have already talked to me and said that you drew a blank and we'd already talked about that, that would be normal. Angela, are you happy? Yes. What? I'm so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd turn up the last ones in there. I missed the Yeah. Um, some of the problems was um, you really have to read the question thoroughly because some of them were name and define, not just name or define. So, how do you guys feel? I'm ticked off at me. You know it. Okay. So I sat down to write. I just. Everything was blank, completely blank. Yeah. The, the cells up here just don't remember anymore like they should. So it's really not something to, to stress about. Plus, yeah. you, you got, what, almost 70? 
Yeah, but what's a good mark? 90, 100? Um, <clears throat> average anywhere between 70 and 80, honestly. Oh, I don't feel so bad then. No. It's, it's hard material. It'll come. Slow but sure. Everyone has a purpose in this world. And I'm trying to find my purpose. I'm a good communicator, I love people, and I know God wants me out there to talk to people in some way, some form. I didn't know everybody have their different ways. God made them like that because I'm a happy-go-lucky person. And my husband was one of those quiet person. And, you know, he's always telling me, you know, you know, do it this way. Why do you have to have a party? And I'm just, you know, live for today. Don't worry about tomorrow. So I figured if I go away from my husband, life would be better. And then what happened? I left Canada and I went to Miami because I think that you could run away from problems. And when I went to Miami, I met somebody who I was in love with and then he was doing wrong and then I got caught up. But it's not worth it because I lost everything. But as I said, um, I'm okay, I'll start from scratch. This is a song I wrote for my third husband. The man that put me in prison for 10 years for a crime I never commit. The man that beat my son, that beat me. The man that made me believe that he loved me more than any other man in this world until I came to prison and found out indeed that what was happening to me was called abuse. But because I had this kind of a life growing up in an isolated seaport community in Newfoundland, being beaten and raped and sodomized every day till I took off, I didn't have nothing to compare it with. And this is a song I wrote for that motherfucker. Love's supposed to be a special feeling. Something that nobody can give you. I doubt that you truly know what love is. But I'm learning to hate because I'm learning it all from you. How is something good supposed to go bad? If you don't work at it, my friend. Well, you cannot lose something you never had. So I'm leaving on the morning train. Well, I did try to go on that morning train, but the motherfucker came looking for me and uh, somebody died as a result, uh, threatened to kill my son. I came to prison for 10 years or something I didn't do. And uh, then I got out of prison and uh, he looked me up again and uh, threatened to kill my son again. And uh, police couldn't help because he hadn't done anything to me. And uh, parole officer couldn't help me because I wasn't on parole anymore. And uh, I was alone and uh, I went to help out a friend and uh, one thing led to another. We started talking about situations in our life and stuff and I had gone to help her out because she was being threatened by uh, a man she used to live with that beat her up and robbed her and uh, the police wouldn't help us because they said he hadn't done nothing. And um, so she started drinking early in the morning and drank all night and when I went to her assistance she was falling down drunk. I didn't know what else to do because she kept wanting me to have a drink with her. And I did. And it um, wasn't much, but I'm epileptic, so didn't need much. And 
It was when she started screaming that she'd seen this guy on the patio, then she disappeared, and then my abusive ex-husband came back in her place. Something happened to me. I turned around and went after him. I grabbed by the neck and I squeezed it really hard. I was filled with something I, I've never felt since. Something happened to me. But I guess I wasn't killing him. I, I was, in, in fact, killing my friend. But the lawyer I had wouldn't believe that. He tried to make it uh, be something else. So I came to prison doing a life 20 sentence. And um, I'm trying to deal with my circumstance the best way I know how. I'm not a fucking victim anymore, I'll tell you that. And I hate what they're doing to me here because they're victimizing me and I don't like it. I mean, there's got to be some mercy tendered with justice when, you know, things happen. But I don't think there's any such thing as mercy in this world anymore. Not after I lived a life I lived. And this is, this is it. Because I'm a human being, Sila. And I have feelings. And I know what truth is. And I know what lies is. And it's pretty hard to believe the police and the justices and the crown attorneys and everything in this goddamn country. When they're the ones that are doing the most crime and they're out there free walking around in part in their own form of vigilante justice on abused, disadvantaged, disenfranchised women. Bobby's expecting me. Okay. Bobby Bala. Okay. Okay. I'm happy you when I hear that word release. <laughs> huh? I'm happy when I hear release that. Release papers? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. This is basically telling you that you are ready to go. Oh! <laughs> I'm so happy. Have your when... copy, <sighs> and I need a signature here. <sighs> Those are the conditions that you have to follow okay. when you are out on your start release. Mm -hmm. Right? Is, did they put it here? I want to see it in writing. Here it is, on the second page. Reasons for special conditions. These are your special conditions. Here it says. You have to follow a treatment plan, counseling to be arranged by your supervisor, which is, when they say supervisor, that's your community parole officer. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you have to provide the full financial disclosure to your parole officer, mm -hmm. which means whatever income you get, whatever gift, oh, okay. whatever, that I you have, have to. tell to, them, yeah. yeah. That's right. And uh, the third condition was not to associate with any person you know to be involved in criminal activity. I like the first one. Why would they want to give a 58 and a half year old woman conditions? It's because that of was your past. Then. Yeah. It's because of your past, right? Yeah, but I'm not going that way, route anymore. That's what you said last time, and so they have to take all the precautions that they have to, right? Yeah, but there's, there's, it's okay. All right. Good luck. Uh -huh. All right, Bobby. Thanks. Okay, I get my release paper. I sign my conditions. I didn't know they would give it out so early. So I'm good to go. <laughs> good morning, officer. You can do me first for you. Uh, uh, caught uh, Melissa. She interpreter for me and house uh, for please, Melissa. She interpreter. Hi Kim. Hi Nikki. How are you Hi. today? I'm fine, thank you. Come and sit down. 
We were lucky enough to have Karina on shift today. So Karina is going to join us for this case management meeting so we can let you know what's going on and give you an update on all your pending case management issues. So the first thing I have to tell you is not that good a news. We found out a couple of days ago that the National Parole Board have not scheduled you for a January hearing. What the issue is, is that they've decided that they want an old police report um, that was mentioned in your criminal profile. And right now we're trying to obtain that police report because we don't appear to have a copy of it either. So Kim, this was not a planned delay. This was a surprise to us. Um, it was a surprise to the community. We were fully expecting that you would appear before the parole board in January, but suddenly they're asking for this police report and they won't proceed until February now because they want a copy of this police report. She said that whatever correction, uh, she always trying to obey to the correction plans in here, but things happen without her expected. So she doesn't understand why that she always fall into these situations. We did want her to be there in January, mm -hmm. and this was very unexpected to us too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, she'll definitely be in the board in February once we get Saul straightened out. I don't make young chị đâu, không? Từ cái này cái nọ để mà từ ở hút cái những cái ngày mà ta xử rồi, ăn cái đau khổ rồi mà còn cái mà không có ai mà chỉ giúp chị một uh, phải làm này kia để mà chứ xảy ra không có chuyện gì lớn nhưng mà trong giấy tờ vẫn là coi không đẹp. She said being in here it's very hard to go through every day and um, her her case has been delayed from days to day and every day she waiting the day that she could able to come to see the parole board but when she put her hope up she always fall harder and would just make her day go a lot harder jail is not easy place to stay and um, especially when she has language problem she found that it's very hard especially when there's a problem come up and she come to see Karina she can't get help from her and the more she come the more conflict she found between her and uh, Karina um, well I guess first off if you could tell her that I apologize and that I unfortunately I wasn't aware that she felt this way and that I wasn't aware that I was always um, I guess I always knew that there was a bit of a communication problem but I Every time we left a conversation, I was always under the impression that she understood what I was saying. I, I think that we've all begun to understand each other a little better. Um, and it's never too late. You know, we're still working towards your release, Kim, and, um, you know, that's what we're going to... That's, that's our main goal here, to get you back out of here. We know it's not a nice place to be. And, and we need to get you out on day parole as much as you want to get out on day parole. So let's put everything else behind us and move forward from today. I got the recommendations finished for the Human Rights Commission well, that they uh, like had. Pages there. And uh, yeah, I, I, I got it like three days before it was due. So anyway, this is uh, one of the uh, recommendations, recommendation 8A. It has to do with programs and stuff. 
We have no community programs except ones women have had to fight for on an individual basis. If the programs were working, the recidivism rate would not be so high. The programs we have here are all centered around substance abuse. We do not have enough staff or psychologists trained to do programs that abuse women need. We need sexual abuse programs for women. 93% of the women have been sexually abused in their life. We have one here, but it's for five to 10 women only, and there's no aftercare. The difference between men and women is only one, domestic abuse. Men and women under the same stress factors react to one another differently. Men become violent after drinking and doing drugs to help them cope. Women, on the other hand, tend to act and do things in anger and frustration and then use after they've been mistreated to cover their guilt and shame. Those are just a few of the things I've, I've uh, written in um, the recommendations. There are, are quite a lot, but the, the snapshot that uh, I, I give, I hope uh, I offer them um, some kind of uh, insight. Well, I know that you're going to be on the phone trying to get down now to see the women in Max. Yep, exactly. I That's wish you luck for that. <laughs> well, thank and you I'll for coming. see you next week. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Bye, Charmaine. Take care. Okay, I'm ready. Well, I don't care. Okay. I love you. I know. Oh, with the card? How can you not? Can help with the card? Of course. another bag. I miss my friends a lot. I'm leaving, but I get connected with the girls, and I really love them. So I'm going to miss them. I'm looking forward to be with my family. So it's a bit scary, but I'm going to manage. Who's going to help me when I go in six months? You'll, you'll find somebody. So Charlene, I have to go say bye to the girls. So just push my card up here and leave it at the front. I'll come up there soon. I know what to do. Gray blazer with built-in shirt, Scarlet M. Yeah. Okay, you can pack it. Burgundy, three-quarter length sleeve shirt, I guess, or sweater. No, actually, I heard of this story about this. This isn't going with you. Okay. Snake skin pattern pants. I don't know. You don't have them? No. What did you leave them with? Because I know you wore them on Saturday. No, I didn't wear that on Saturday. I'll look out for it. Look what I wear on Saturday. I didn't wear that. Pink long sleeve top. Pink? Pink? Don't, you don't have it. So you have one more thing you need to do. Mm -hmm. 
when you came here, you signed a piece of paper opening your file. So now you're officially closing it. I don't remember this. So when was this signed? You signed this on November 6th, 1998. I did, yeah, but my charge, I came in the 9th, 16th of September, 2003. That's what I'm going to sign to. Oh, 309.19. Right, that's better. So oh, 4, 12, 21. Got everything? Yep. Ready to rock and roll? Yes. Oh, freedom! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Where the girls can see me from? <laughs> okay. Oh, you're going to follow me yep. to the car and everything. Okay, my cousin don't want to be on it, so... <laughs> well, okay, then. bye. Some bad news, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's too uh, bad. That's yeah. okay. You can get him, Kim. In my opinion, okay, this is a good report. The parole people, like who work in here, are saying are saying we're not recommending you get out. Get out, no problem, Lee. Well, I think you're going to get out, no problem. But what I'm saying is, is they're not recommending it. They know. No. They say they know one. That's right. Oh, okay. I understand now. I don't know about that. But what they're saying is, is that you were a drug dealer. You were a drug dealer again, and they're saying when you're in here, you're still in drugs. Therefore, you're going to be a drug dealer when you get out. Yeah, that's the problem. That, but no, right. That, but that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's the problem. But you're saying that's not true. Yeah, right? that's the problem. And this whole report doesn't say, I mean, if you, if you read it carefully, it, do, it doesn't say there's no evidence that you're a drug dealer anymore, okay? Yeah. So the, it's important for you for the next month, smile. Do you understand okay, that? Yeah, smile, I cry too you know, much all day. No crying. Do you, is Melissa a good interpreter? Yeah. Ah. Hey, how are you doing? Good. You're Melissa? Yeah. How? How are you doing? Yeah. What I'm going to tell you is, 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 um, just so she knows this, I want to make sure she understands. Sometimes I think I'm saying things, right? And Kim just nods her head. Okay. Okay? Sure. But I think she understands this, that, her, her parole has been put off from January to February, yeah, right? Yeah, she understands okay, that. She understands I that. it to her already. Okay. So this woman, Karina, she's convinced the woman above her who's writing the report that she is a risk, right? Mm -hmm. And we're never going to change those people's minds, mm -hmm. right? But bureaucrats are sort of a new breed of people, really. I don't, do you understand the word bureaucrat? I understand. Yeah. Um, like, there's so many layers of government sometimes. These people tend to not become people anymore. And that's why they sort of have the word, they call them a bureaucrat, right? Because they're really not even people anymore. They become like robots almost, okay? And the difficulty is uh, when you become involved in a bureaucracy, uh, you got to learn how to deal with these people. Um, and you can't deal with them like a normal person. At least that's my experience, right? No, <laughs> yeah. Người chị rất là cứng rắn, hiểu không? Chị chấp nhận, thấy không? Chị không có hèn hạ như là mình làm là mình chấp nhận, hiểu không? Nhưng mà là quá sức tưởng tượng theo cái ý của chị đó, biết không? Kệ kiếp này nó làm ác đó, nó xử chị ác nặng đó, kiếp sau thì nó đền trả lại kiếp sau, nói vậy đó. I'm learning to how to cope with my problem and right. I believe in God. I believe that whatever they do to me will come around sooner or later to them or their children because the punishment that I'm receiving is not fair and it's too much for me. No, no. They have enough. No, I don't, listen to her, listen to her, listen. And she cannot know. start with that kind of story. Chị, ông đã nói rồi. Okay. Là người ta có đủ bằng chứng để chứng minh. You have to tell her, this is really important. She has to admit that she was a drug dealer. Okay. Cái vấn đề quan trọng nhất là trước đúng trước trước thôi đó là chị phải chấp nhận chị làm lỗi. Okay, no listen, listen, listen to me. This is very important. 
They are not going to put her in jail for longer because she admits she's a drug dealer. She has been sentenced, okay? Họ không có thể phán tội chị thêm được nữa là chị chị đã ở tù rồi, chị đã phán tù rồi. Nhưng mà chị điều quan trọng chị muốn ra trong tháng 2 này đó, trước parole board chị phải admit là những gì chị làm wrong hồi xưa. They can't do anything. Chị không có thể là dùng cái tội hồi xưa để mà ép right? được. Quan trọng bây giờ chị muốn được ra hay khớm hay xong được cái parole hay không á là do cái cải thiện ở trong cái tâm của chị ra. Like my story is is that I was a drug dealer and you know I'm really sorry about it and I'm not going to do it again. I've learned my lesson. But you have to admit that you're a drug yeah. dealer, okay? Whether she believes it or not, I don't care. But that has to be her story, okay? Cái đó là chị ông không có cần biết là chị có có tin hay tin tưởng hay giống như là tin uh, luật lệ đây không, nhưng mà bây giờ ông đã bàn chị như vậy là chị phải Okay. Phải dự định, phải stick với cái, cái, cái plan của ổng. Right. Bad girl, bad girl, good girl. I'm just gonna let you know that myself and GVI itself are supporting you for your release. EFRI Toronto is also supporting you for release. The community of Toronto, the Women's Supervision Unit, is not supporting you for your release. Okay, so that's what we're going in with. That's basically what this is saying. Okay, so we're, the board is ready for us, so we'll, we'll head over now. Okay, Ms. Fan, this charges for drug offenses. Did you commit these offenses? Yes. How long, Ms. Fan, how long was it before you got involved in drugs again? After getting out the last time? Within that two months after the parole. So even if you did not start dealing until after your sentence, it was a matter of days before you're involved in criminal activity again. So please explain that. Ông phải nói chứ là quá xa ngã đó. Ừ. Thử bây giờ chị ở tù lâu, chị rút kinh nghiệm nhiều. Chị không bao giờ cũng đợi chị mà chị dướng vô tù một lần. I know that I have made a big mistake in my life. During the time serving in this place, I have learned my lesson a lot. I don't want to come back here. I want to start my life fresh again. If that's the case, then why were you involved in an incident here where you were sharing a jar of liquid containing alcohol? Cái cái mà 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 nước cái nước ngọt mà trong cái bình để mà để trong phi sờ cho nó lạnh đông đá đó ở trong này bán chị pha vô chị bỏ trong cái bình chứ đâu phải là rượu chị đâu uống rượu. That no alcohol in that. It just only um, some fruit juice. I don't drink. Okay, well the information we have says that there was alcohol in that jar. I have a court hearing and it was determined that it was an alcohol. Okay. And on October 2nd, you were taken to the outside hospital after they found you lying on the floor. They thought you were under the influence of drugs or alcohol. <coughs> I wasn't uh, feeling well at that time and uh, uh, someone gave me a pill and when I took that and it just affected me that I couldn't see um, very well and I have uh, like dizziness um, so that's why that happened. The last explanation you gave, you said that it was because you had a migraine. This story is different. Yes, I have migraine and headache and uh, stored vision very often. Crack cocaine is a very dangerous drug for the people who take it. Um, what did you tell yourself uh, about that drug? You must have noticed what it was doing to the people you were selling it to.
It is uh, equivalent to murderer. When they're taking drugs, people could die. I know that I have seen... I could not believe that I did that. And I don't want to do that again. We will excuse ourselves to go and make a decision on your case, and we'll come back when we've done that. Thank you. So, I don't think they're going to let me out. Do you understand that? Okay? So, listen. So, don't be upset. I don't know what happens, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I know I'm sitting in there. I know. If you just want to take a seat, we're going to resume in a minute, okay? Okay, uh, Ms. Van, the uh, board has reached a decision in your case, and we have decided to grant day parole. I want you to listen carefully to the reasons, because even though the decision is positive, we have several negative things to say about your case. Your statutory release is in September, and on your statutory release, you would be released into the community with no support from a halfway house. With that fact in mind, the board considered what would be the best for you and for the public. If you are involved in similar activity in the future, you will have a longer sentence and with your chances for release being even worse. Given your age, uh, I guess it will be up to you to decide uh, where you want to spend the rest of your days. And that's why we're giving you another opportunity. When I first came here, being very naive, I thought, oh, gee, this is great. But the dynamics that underlie what you see here are very, very misleading. A lot of people figure that we are here. We've got these nice condo con condominium-style houses. We got this, we got that. But they don't live here. They only see the four walls. They don't know what goes on inside and they don't know what we have to live with. I miss you, guy, eh? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Hi, Ellie. Oh, I'll oh. see you in a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah, me I too. See you too. Okay. okay. I see you too. Okay, miss you. Uh, be good. Give you a chin up, baby. Okay. I know you. I send you a car. Come here. Oh, good everybody. luck. Okay. My friend. I wait for you and here yeah. too. I know. See mm -hmm. you. I go. Bye bye. Aww. Everybody. You know I wouldn't miss you for the world. Yeah. Stay strong, you know, stay focused. Keep your mind, you know, positive. <laughs> if you think of doing bad things, think about this place, how much grief you went through yeah. to get where you're at, so that'll keep you out. Well, Kimmy. Okay, bye, bye Joey. Well, later, eh? Never goodbye. Bye. Goodbye forever. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, bye forever. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm going to get my trusty broom. One of the ladies left this morning out of the house, so I have to go in and clean up her room. So. Supposed to be somebody moving in here today. The rooms don't stay empty long. There, ready for the next victim. That's it for that. I'm learning it out. 